Have you considered that the Sword Coast might be the next big adventure for the warrior princess? Master horde-breaking sweeping attacks and bust out flurries of blows as you scream into battle. This is Our Guide to Xena in Baldur's Gate 3. Extended Edition. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more guides like these. If you like this build, please leave a like and comment who you would like to see in your final party. Start as a fighter making your stats look like this. Select the dueling fighting style and unlock Action Surge before becoming the Battlemaster Warlord that you are. Learn Trip Attack to knock down your enemies, Menacing Attack to strike fear into them, and Sweeping Attack to strike several enemies at once. Then grab Athlete to increase your dexterity and unlock Extra Attack at level 5. Cut off Crusher's Ring for extra movement speed and loot the gloves of the Growling Underdog from the Goblin Camp. Purchase the Ring of Jumping from Dareth Bonecloak in the Myconid Colony, then deeper down slay Near for the Sword of Scream so you can release your legendary battle cry. Also grab the Periaptive Wound Closure from Lady Esther before making your way into the Shadow Cursed Lands. Multiclass into Monk to unlock Unarmored Defense to drastically raise AC, then increase damage output with Unarmored Strikes and Flurry of Blows to consistently make use of your bonus actions. Next unlock Patient Defense alongside Step of the Wind actions dash and disengage. Then enter the Way of the Open Hand to transform your Flurry of Blows into Stagger and Push Maneuvers. When you hit level 9, speak to Withers and Respect to swap levels, putting 4 into Fighter and 5 into Monk. Unlocking Slow Fall to reduce falling damage and raising your Wisdom with an ASI. This will maintain your extra attack, but also grant you powerful stunning strikes. Buy the Cloak of Protection from Quartermaster Tali at the last light end before embarking on the journey to Rivington. Now multi-class into Ranger, selecting Keeper of the Veil for protection from evil and good as you fight the many remaining entities on your path to redemption, along with selecting Wasteland Wanderer Fire for protection from devilish enemies. Boost your AC again by learning the defense fighting style and further show off your physical abilities like Enhanced Leap and Long Strider. Finally, select Hunter as your subclass for Horde Breaker to slap multiple enemies per attack and Hunter's Mark to deal extra damage to your most ruthless foe. Loot the Boots of Uninhibited Kashigo as you interact 3 to add your Wisdom modifier to your unarmed attacks. Then nab the Scabby Pugula Circlet from Mathis and Rivington for more damage when surrounded. Equip the Garb of the Land and Sky and Worms Crossing to power up your patient defense as well as your Step of the Wind actions. At last, if you want to embody the Warrior Princess, pick up the Slinging Shoes from Tara in the Lower City. There is no Chakram in Baldur's Gate, but these guys can be thrown and returned to you when they are, except they will replace whatever boots you have on. Yell out your war cry before flipping into battle to use Horde Breaker into a free action follow-up attack. Then hit them with a sweeping attack and a bonus on arm strike for four attacks per turn so you can... Kill them all! Wow. If you're interested in a written breakdown, join our free Discord for more information on this build. And consider becoming a member on YouTube for $5. This gives you the ability to vote on our exclusive member-only polls and early access to our videos every week. Check out this fight against Savarok. Thanks for watching our videos. Your support goes a long way, and we appreciate all of you. Stay idle. my breath.
Come on. Can't stay idle. Tim. Nothing will stand in my way. The only way out is through. Blood comes easy these days. Thanks again for watching our videos. We'll see you next time.